forestry app is a app that's really, I love the graphics in it. It's really a beautiful app that just kind of introduces your students to different ecosystems and different animals that live in those ecosystems. I think it would be a great thing to cover, you know, say you're going to a refuge on a field trip or a zoo or anything like that. It's a super fun, easy app to incorporate with any of those things. So I'm going to push the green play button in the middle of the screen. And it's going to go ahead and load. And again, like I said, I just think this app is beautiful. So you can actually choose um, the animal that you want to do. You'll see that these are locked in these other three animals other than the bear. And that is something that if you really like this app, you could purchase additional sets. But the bear is completely free. And I'll just show you. There's four different games. You can see a bee buzzing, grapes, a fish, and a bear. You'll also see that three of them have check marks. That's because I've successfully completed those levels. Each level is a little bit different. So I'll just show you how to do it. I'm going to tap on the grapes, which is the first one. And what it will do is it takes you to the forest setting. And your goal in this is to help the bear fill up his basket. So it tells you he wants you to look for the berries in the forest and fill up his basket. So what the student has to do is actually um, my finger is moving that bush back there and I find the grapes and I put them in his basket. So it's basically a matter of the students have to look through all the bushes and find all the berries for the bear to eat. And this is a great time to talk about what do bears eat. Are they, you know, um, carnivorous? Are they herbivores? So it's it, there's a lot of different things that you can work into this science lesson. I'm going to go ahead and do pause and go back to my map. I'll just show you one of the other ones so you can get another idea. Um, here is a kind of going in that same route of what do what do bears eat. You could talk about the salmon migration patterns with this, but his job is to catch the fish and put them in his pail. So as the fish jump, the students have to, I'll wait for fish to jump, go ahead and push his little net and catch the fish. So it's just a very fun and engaging app. It's very simple, but it's, it's very beautiful, and I think that you can work it in with a lot of different science ideas and terms.